Hi, my name is Christy Jordan from Gulf Coast Ultrasound, and your hot tip of the day is the Wiggers diagram. In explaining the Wiggers diagram, I want to first explain to you what each of these components mean. So when we're looking at the Wiggers diagram, it's comparing our pressures in the heart with our volume and our EKG. So what we're looking at here is our electrocardiogram, comparing that with our ventricular volume, comparing that with our pressures in our heart. The phonocardiogram here is looking at when the heart valves close. And so what we're seeing on the phonocardiogram is heart sound S1, which is mitral and tricuspid valve closure, and S2, which is aortic and pulmonic valve closure. If we compare that to the EKG, you can see here that the mitral valve closes on the R wave and the aortic and pulmonic valves close at the end of the T wave. Looking at our pressures here, valves open and close according to pressures. And so what we're seeing here is just the left side of the heart, but whatever happens on the left side of the heart also happens on the right side of the heart. And so this is our left atrial pressure here, this low gray line right here. This is our blue left ventricular pressure here. And the top gray line is our aortic pressure here. And so in order for the valves to open and close, we have to have pressure changes. And valves, blood flows from high to low pressure. And so what we're seeing here is at this particular point, the mitral valve just closed. You can see that's consistent with S1, consistent on your EKG here on the R wave. We have the highest volume here because we just filled the left ventricle and our AV valve, mitral and tricuspid valves just closed. Well, right now, the pressure in the left ventricle is lower than the pressure in the aorta. So the aortic valve is not going to open. So here we have what's called isovolumetric contraction. And what's happening here is all four valves are closed and the ventricle pressure is increasing. And once the left ventricular pressure increases above the aortic pressure, then the aortic valve will open and blood will be pushed into the aorta. As it starts to drop, the aortic valve closes. So right now, all four valves are closed, mitral and tricuspid valves are closed, and we want to start the process all over again. So this is isovolumetric relaxation, where what we're going to see is all four valves are closed, our ventricular pressure is decreasing, and once our ventricular pressure decreases below the left atrial pressure, then our AV valves will open. And you can see here that when my aortic valve closed at this particular point, I was at my lowest volume here because I just pushed blood into the aorta. And that concludes our session, our hot tip on the Wiggers diagram.